Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on an absolutely lovely uh, mid-December 2023 day. It's, it's really sunny and not that cold either, which is very pleasant. Uh, now we're doing a quick video on this uh, beautiful sleep of Kingham. So we just went and bought this yesterday. It's a van we sold about 15 months ago and uh, we just bought it back from the chap that we sold it to. He's decided to, uh, to give up motorhoming and it's an absolute cracker this. So Ortsleep are uh, Britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer and they're renowned for their luxury traditional sort of quality British product. They do things in a unique way that sort of you, if you like it you like it and they have a comfortable sort of old school British quality about them and they are designed exclusively for the UK so the Kingham is their their fixed bed offering which is a European idea that because the concept of a fixed bed van conversion it took quite a long time for the British manufacturers to cotton on to it now actually it's it's a it probably you sell as more if not as many if not more fixed bed van conversions you do non-fixed bed ones now but where the Kingham comes into it uniquely from any large scale manufacturer is it is a two berth. So it's a 6.34 long van. So the 6 and the 6.34 are the same wheelbase, but the 6.34 has got that extra bit beyond the marker light there. Uh, and that's allowed them to put in a very luxurious, comfortable layout within a van conversion. So you've got a fixed longitudinal side bed uh, and then you've got a side sofa lounge. So almost all the other fixed bed van conversions have a dinette and they try and shoehorn in seat belts and an extra berth so this has been designed from the off just for two people uh, and that makes it a little bit different uh, so this particular one it's 2020 on a 69 plate so it's early 2020 i think it was february 2020 um, they're very very high spec vans as standard uh, this was one supplied new by Marquis and they load everything on so there's not a lot you could, could add to it really but it's the best colour it's in silver and it's priced at 6195 now if you do what we do an internet price check your vans uh, as it stands today in mid-December there's a couple of other ones slightly older than this and they're for sale for like 6495 uh, now this one we're we're putting it up for 61.95. It's newer than the others that are for sale, and it's a better colour. And it's only done 9,000 miles. It's in superb condition. So let's have a little look at the window sheet. Anyway, so it's a 2020 on a 69 plate or sleeper Kingham. It's got the fixed bed. It's two berth, two seat belt, and that's a good thing. It's on the Peugeot boxes, so that means it's got the manual six-speed gearbox, but it's the 165 brake engine, so you've got loads of power. The standard was 130, but these are 165s. Only done just over 9,000 miles. She's 6.34 long, 2.05 wide body width with the mirrors folded. The mirror tips are 2.2. Well, it's 2.64 and price is 61.95, which is say for one of these, especially in this spec colour and condition, is, is a really good buy for someone, this I think, anyway. So let's have a little look. So it's in aluminium silver, as they call it, or aluminium grey, which is silver. Um, body colour bumpers. Is that a slight indentation there? I don't know if it is. I'm not sure. Um, you got the LED daytime running lights. So Peugeot still had them by 2020, whereas Fiat didn't. 16 inch uh, Peugeot alloy wheels, full colour coding, looks really really smart. You can see it's been habitation checked in 21 22, and we, yeah, we must have done it 22, and we'll do it again now. So that will be 23. We've got Peugeot windows all the way around, which are tinted um, for um, to avoid condensation. Full length Tule Omni store awning, LED awning light. Coming around to the back here, we've got a barbecue point. And then we've got a high level reversing camera. I suppose there is something you could add because it doesn't have a bike rack or uh, a tow bar. So if you wanted a tow bar or a bike rack, we can, we can fit them for you. Opening up the back doors, you've got access to underneath the bed, which gives you plenty of storage. All beautifully finished off. These things, nice light wood finish. Concertina blinds and fly well only concertina blind on that no fly screen because it's a non-opening one of course uh, loads of storage underneath now because he's just given up motorhoming the nice thing is he's left a load of stuff so if you're a first time buyer this has got some really nice silver screens with it got some toilet cams reserve sign um, 
leveling wedges so it's, it's literally ready to pick up and go and camp which is smart so your toilet cassette lockers there a bit of hanging space as well back there and plenty of room underneath for your chairs your barbecue and stuff coming down the driver's side so we've got the vents for your three-way fridge freezer that'll run off gas from your gas tank if you're not hooked up electric if you are hooked up and the engine while you're driving I say gas tank because gas is taken care of by an underslung gas tank so instead of having gas bottles which take up space and are hard to get hold of sometimes this has got an underslung LPG gas tank so that will power your fridge your heating your hot water and your cooker when you're not on the mains obviously all of those things when you are on electric will run off electric apart from your cooker um, so you just fill up at LPG at a petrol station there are a lot and lot of places uh, that do LPG. The benefit of it is it's much much cheaper, it's bigger capacity, it's not taking up any space and with an adapter you can fill up across Europe. Now you're not going to be filling up very often because it is a much bigger capacity than two gas bottles and if you're on the mains you're barely going to be using any gas. So while yeah not everywhere does LPG uh, there are enough places out there and will be going forward that I don't think that's going to be an issue. Down near us we've got five or six very near to us including two which have been recently been installed. So you've got mains hook up, there's a solar panel on the roof and you've got a leisure battery. Fresh water fill up point there. And then we've got, if you want to get a small sucker pump, you can plug it in there and that will suck water in from an aqua roll container if you didn't want to move your van. An auto sleeper also fit. External 12 volt socket, TV and satellite point. So if you are going down to La Manga or one of these Spanish campsites with piped in British TV, you can just plug in to the booster there. Now, opening up your cab door, you'll find all the cab spec you'd expect. So you've got concertina blinds, steering wheel controls for your TomTom Tom Bluetooth DAB stereo system with satellite navigation, courtesy of TomTom, Tom, that's European. Uh, Six-speed manual gearbox, so it's got the big 165 horsepower engine, which is loads of pull, that really is. Air conditioning, cruise control, passenger airbag, central cup hard and bottle holders, and this nice piano black extra trim just to break things up a little bit. So yeah, condition superb. Really, really, really nice van. So let's jump inside and have a look at the inside. So, coming inside... We've got some storage bits, some light switches, a socket outside so you can plug in if you're on the mains while you're sat outside. Really, really good. And you come straight into a rather nice lounge. So you've got a side sofa, so on a nice day you can open up your side door, sit there and look at the view of the A38 South Devon Expressway in the distance. Absolutely lovely. Twin swivel cab seats storage over the cab which I personally prefer and you've got a freestanding table there's also a smaller table which goes in there there's a little bit of storage underneath of there as well but you do have uh, other equipment underneath of there I can see there's a plug socket there and I think there's another plug socket there loads of plug sockets you've got an opening window here with the blinds and fly screens uh, previous owners left is Avtex TV and that's a rather nice 21 inch Avtex TV. Uh, it's not the very latest one but we don't check or guarantee audio visual equipment but it's there we'll leave it in. On the roof there's a TV aerial and there is also a factory fitted uh, motorhomewifi.com Wi-Fi system which is something else as a as an audio visual non-essential equipment we don't guarantee but we'll check it and there's not a lot to go wrong with them and that allows you to if you want to pay for a SIM card and a data only SIM card to, uh, to to run Wi-Fi off of this little disc that's up on the roof basically it's not essential but if you want to do it it's there it's about five six hundred quid's worth of kit we've got a Dometic microwave fitted at a reasonable height and this is one of the first of the ones without a rotating plate so it doesn't rattle so much extra worktop for the sink there good size sink which has still got its um, basin and uh, rattly cutlery holder clip on draining board Auto sleepers touchscreen control panel which is nice and easy to use. Next to that are controls for your whale heating and hot water. So that is under slung that, so that's really good because it doesn't take up any internal space. So that's why a lot of manufacturers are switching to it. So it's bolted underneath the floor of the van and it will heat your water and heat your van using either mains electric or gas from your gas tank or a combination of the two. The so kitchen is superb. This is one of the best van conversion kitchens out there. So you've got the microwave, you've got loads of loads of storage drawers and space and things like that. Proper oven, three gas burners, no point putting electric on when you've got gas that costs pennies from your tank, and a combination oven and grill. 
you've got an extractor fan above that, a shelf and two high level cupboards. That's the router for your motomewifi.com system up there. Oh, he's even left some, uh, even left some nice sort of, uh, oh, they're nice, nice sort of plastic plates and cups in as well. Another thing which is nice is this extra bank of plug sockets, more plug sockets. Look at that, so you've got another three main sockets there, which is very smart. And one of my favourite things about a Kingham, it's just a little thing, I love the Hollywood mirror. So you can sit here on your bed, hello, if you're a bit smaller than me anyway, hello, <laughs> and do your, uh, do your hair or your makeup or whatever, which you don't have to have that on. I think that's a really nice thing. Above it, you've got a cocktail cabinet as well. I like these little halo lights. Plenty of ventilation, you've got a skylight there, and another one there, and another one over the bed. We've also got these very smart Dometic 12 volt lights. So these are on a little scale electrics track, so you can uh, you can move them up and down this rail. You can also add extra ones to the rail, and you can even get little. Um, they cost about 50 quid, so they're not cheap. You can get little USB chargers which clip into the rail as well. So that's really cool. This is some extra worktop. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I mean, what a kitchen that for a fixed bed van conversion. That's superb. Three-way fridge freezer from Thetford, nice and easy. And then your bed, which is, I mean, it's never going to be the biggest bed in the world, but it's not a bad size, to be fair. I mean, if you're a pair of rugby players, it's, it might be a little bit different. You can also access your storage underneath of there as well. And there's more storage at the foot of the bed. There is another TV point as well, believe it or not. So you could have a TV there and another one here, and obviously more 12 volt plug points and things like that and then plenty of high level cupboard storage as well now your bathroom probably a compromise because when you fit in a bed alongside a bathroom and a van conversion something's got to give but it's got a bathroom it's here so you've got a little fixed basin uh, you've got a high level light and when I turn that on you'll hear a humming noise because that turns the extractor on basically so it's big enough but it's not huge I mean I'm quite a broad chap as you can see I'm 17 stone I could shower in it, I could use it, certainly enough room to sit on the toilet anyway, so it's a functional space. But if you are bigger than me, you might find it a little bit tight, but something's got to give when you fit in all of this, which is basically a fully furnished uh, flat into a 6.34 metre van. But condition, lovely. Price point, lovely. Spec, lovely. Colour, the best. Shouldn't hang around this one, folks, in fairness to it. They are popular Kinghams, and there's nothing else quite like one. So give us a call, uh, 01626 832 792. Uh, you can call us direct on the mobile if we're busy out here doing videos on 07432 662 558. You can check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website, or you can come and see us. You can see that truck there. That's the A38 South Devon Expressway, so Exeter's there. Plymouth there and literally you just drive along you'll see all of our vans and there's a little turn off you come straight into us dead easy so not deep as dark as Devon so just off the A38 at Newton Abbott uh, so come and see us and come and see this beautiful all sleeper Kingham thank you very much goodbye